Joining me now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, um, <laughs> we have, I guess, a situation where we're supposed to believe it's Secret Service protocol to allow a private citizen to fly a drone in the vicinity of an area where a high value target is about to speak, whether it's in an hour or two hours. I guess that's, that's protocol. Yeah, that's the stupidest thing I've heard yet, Laura, and I've heard a lot of stupid stuff surrounding this investigation. I mean, first of all, the Secret Service clearly had no idea what they were doing on the day. Whistleblowers, new whistleblowers, tell me, Laura, that actually law enforcement were supposed to be stationed on that roof. But the person who was supposed to be there decided to get off the roof because it was too hot. And then whistleblowers tell me law enforcement were supposed to be patrolling the perimeter of the building. And they didn't do that either because, again, it was too hot. And so they went inside. I mean, this is a shambles from top to bottom, beginning to end. And I'm glad that that uh, Secret Service director, the former one, is gone. But that needs to be just the beginning. Lots of people need to lose their jobs. And I'm coming to think the Secret Service needs to be totally overhauled. Well, uh, this is really bad, but we have the aftermath of the shooting up on the roof. Some body cam footage. We'll play it. The guy that the art that the, the yes, that they sent the saw. yes, Beaver County yeah, sniper seen and sent the pictures out. This is him. That's the sniper that sent the original pictures and seen him come from the bike and set the bike back down and then lost sight of him. Okay, he's the one that sent the pictures out. I don't know if you got the same ones I did. I think I did. Yeah, he's like got his glasses on. So we had the yeah, picture of I that. Got that. I got that. that okay, picture, and then yeah. this was the, this is his bike with the stuff. And our okay. sniper seen him walking away from that, I believe. Okay. But he would be right inside that window. He's the one that physically seen this, sent the pictures, and called it out. Uh, he's the one that physically seen this. Uh, I'm, 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 God, this is unbelievable. This gets worse. More The more information we hear about this, it's. I, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm sure they're all wonderful people. But this is like nobody's getting information. It's like you, you listen to it, and we don't know what happened right before this, but... It sounds like Tweedledum and Tweedledee here. Well, did you get that? It was the guy with the backpack. Well, you, well we had the photo. I mean, wh this is crazy. And here's what local law enforcement sources tell me, Laura. They say that the FBI, or sorry, the Secret Service and DHS were not coordinating the different security channels. So allegedly, everybody was sharing the same radio frequency. Oh, they're sharing information in real time. That's not what local law enforcement tell me. They tell me that, no, actually, there wasn't communication going on in real time during the rally. There wasn't communication going on in the moments leading up to the shooting. And you can see that reflected in the footage you just played. Nobody knows what the heck is happening. And that footage comes it's after Trump has been shot. Well, it's crazy. Uh, and now the incompetence or operational failure, whatever we're going to call it, of what happened on July 13th is now going to lead the Secret Service to say no more outdoor rallies? I mean, we had outdoor rallies since 2015, and well, long before that, and other candidates. Now, now, no outdoor rallies. Wait, do you do you think that's the way to go? Yeah, how about, no, how about uh, no more allowing presidents to get shot in the head? How about that? How about the Secret Service makes that their goal? I All mean, right, this, this is this is their job, Laura. This is their job, and if they can't do it. They should level with the American people. By the way, the FBI ought to be having daily briefings where they tell us what they know, what they're finding out. They are yeah. not sharing information. They are not being transparent. We don't have any idea. Everything we know comes from whistleblowers. This is ridiculous.